Welcome to STEM Scopes. My name is Susan Morris and I'm a regional in the Southeast Territory. If you visit stemscopes.com, there are many free resources, such as the lesson that we're going to be doing together today. As you can see, my class is anxiously awaiting, getting started learning more about forces. So stay tuned and we'll learn more. Here we have the materials that we're going to be using to learn more about forces. We have tape, we have a ruler and string, we have paper clips, a binder clip, and a pipe cleaner, and magnets. And we have a block because one of the class wanted to learn more about what, a, what would happen with a block. As you can see, the class has moved really close because they're getting excited, waiting on learning about forces, which includes gravity, friction, and magnetism, and how they have observable effects on objects, and how forces change the movement or position of those objects. So let's go. We're ready to investigate. We've been working really hard getting our materials ready to investigate. We cut the string into eight inch pieces. Then we tied a paper clip to one piece of string, a binder clip to the second piece of string, and a piece of pipe cleaner to the third piece of string. After that, we taped each string to the ruler with tape to securely hold it. As you can see, the class is holding our device and they are so excited to see what's happening. So what is happening? All of the strings are hanging straight down. That's because the earth is a great big magnet and that gravitational pull of the earth is pulling things toward it. The more mass you have, the greater the pull. Have you ever noticed how leaves fall from the trees? Or how the rain falls from the sky? Or how the waterfalls fall down in the mountains? All of those things are because of that gravitational pull of the earth. So let's look at what happens when we hold the ruler at a different angle. If you notice, the strings are still hanging straight down. That's because of the gravitational pull of the earth. Each of the items is being pulled straight toward the ground. Let's experiment with our device and see how a magnet will affect each of our items. We're going to use a ruler and we're going to hold the ruler in front of the item. And here, we're going to start at three inches. And we're going to go closer and closer to the pipe cleaner until it attracts. As you can see, it attracted at about one and three-fourths inches. Now, let's experiment with the binder clip. We're starting at three inches and we're going closer to the binder clip. And the binder clip attracts at about two inches. So now let's experiment with the paper clip. We're starting at three inches and going toward the paper clip. And at about one inch, the magnet attracts the paper clip. I wonder what happened 
What made the items be attracted at different measurements? Mass. The paper clip had less mass than the binder clip, and the binder clip even had more mass than the pipe cleaner. The more mass you have, the greater the gravitational pull. So what does force have to do with these motions? Nothing changes its motion unless a force acts on it. Motion can change by speeding up. It can cause something to slow down. It can cause something to change direction. Sometimes gravity pulls so hard that it causes friction. But friction is a good thing. Friction is what helps us walk without sliding all over the place and it also helps our cars stay on the road. So let's remember that forces, including gravity, friction, and magnetism, can have observable effects on objects, and sometimes forces will change the movement and the motion of that position of those objects, and that magnets can be found in everyday objects. Did you know that the doorbell had a magnet and the remote control and your cell phone? So if you have the materials at home that we experimented with, which is magnets, a ruler, and some common everyday items, you can further investigate. See what happens as you touch each of the different household items you find and what will happen with that magnet. Will it attract or will it not? Because if we look at this block, that magnet is not attracted. That block does not come toward that magnet and that magnet will not hold on to it. So see what you can find at home and further your investigation. And remember, go to stemscopes.com to see all of the available free resources.